the JAMA Network. 3D printing is a transformative technology that's evolved over the last decade from a niche industrial prototyping tool into a technology that's been widely applied in multiple fields, including clinical medicine. In medicine, we use these tools for preoperative planning, for education, and for patient communication. And we are also starting to use 3D printing for regenerative medicine. Typically, 3D printing starts with a digital blueprint. The blueprint describes the 3D structure of whatever it is that you're trying to build. These blueprints can be formed from the ground up using computer-aided design tools, as you would for, say, developing a medical device. Or you can use medical images, volumetric images, to develop models of a patient's anatomy. Here, we typically use 3D volumes of CT or MRI data as the foundation of our digital blueprints. After we find something that we'd like to create a 3D model of, we use a series of tools to select the components of the patient's anatomy that we want to print. 3D printing is based on this concept of additive manufacturing. That is, 3D printing builds structures by depositing material layer by layer. This is in contrast to standard manufacturing techniques, which rely on taking raw materials and cutting it, molding it, or manipulating it. There are several types of 3D printing, including material jetting and binder jetting. In binder jetting, the printer constructs models by laying down glue in powder beds. And what you end up getting is a physical representation of a digital blueprint. So you can do lots of different things with this model. You can create fracture planes so that surgeons can see exactly what it is um, that happened with this bone and know better how to treat it. For preoperative planning, for example, we have a model here. Uh, this is a, a fracture of a, a pediatric uh, ankle. And these fractures happen in a prototypical way, but they are fairly complex. And so instructing uh, trainees on how those fractures occur, as well as how to fix them, is sometimes a complex task with just imaging. So these models have been uh, created so that we can actually have the fracture come apart, come back together, and the clinicians can get a sense of how you need to treat these fractures, as well as how to categorize them. We're only at the beginning of the convergence between 3D printing and medicine. While we're still exploring what 3D printing will be about, we're already finding applications in preoperative planning and education and patient communication. How this technology will ultimately be used in medicine is a wide open question, and there are issues around safety and regulation of this technology. But uh, 3D printing does have potential for broad impact in medicine, and it's really an exciting time to be a physician empowered by this kind of technology.